So let's talk about how to grow your business for entrepreneurs. What is up underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock and welcome back to the channel. This is where we come together to level the playing field and figure out ways how to win and how to quickly ramp up our business to six and seven figures as underdog entrepreneurs. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button right now and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And we got my man Cole Hatter getting ready to drop some bombs on how to grow your business as an entrepreneur and craft your message that people can get behind and want to be a part of and we're getting started right now my name is zachary a clear message there are too many events why would they come to your event instead of somebody else's and so if you're trying to build an event it's got to be around a message bigger than business bigger than yourself uh, i'll use this as an example I had the opportunity to interview one of our speakers at Thrive. His name is Naveen Jain, multi-billionaire at the height of his uh, – what would you call that? Stock prices and preferred preferred stock that he owned. He was worth $8 billion right, mm -hmm. at his peak. And so I'm interviewing that guy in his newest company and uh, his, his company is called Viome and it's all about ending disease. And their slogan is making disease optional because of the technology that they've found and et cetera. And so he's got, you know, these investors that bring money and he's got these PhDs that are running the data and all that stuff. And I said, Naveen, like, let me ask you a question. No offense to you, but your company doesn't necessarily need you anymore. The money's there, the smart doctors that are running it are there. And why does everyone stay? And he had a really profound answer. He said, people don't stay for me. He said they stay because of the movement. They stay because they truly want to be a part of the people that ended disease on earth uh, because, again, without getting into the technology, they really do believe with what they've created over time, they can actually see where disease is created and stop disease or stop what creates disease before it happens, right? To Instead of treating illness, prevent it, right? Preventative medicine instead of uh, symptoms, which is all big farm is all about, right? And so uh, that said, he said the reason no one's going anywhere is because they are part of something bigger than themselves. And so how does that relate to the event space or even our personal businesses or brands? Uh, if it's the Cole Hatter Show, and if I didn't name it Thrive, I named it the Cole Hatter Event, and it's all about flaunting me, which there are a lot of people that do this. I've, I have close friends that run events that are branded all about them. Then when you get there, it's really just them being an expert and them on stage creating value, like teaching things that are, are valuable, but it's framed in the, in the narrative that they're the genius and you're lucky to be around them. That's going to be very transient. People are going to come to that event, say, "Hey, I got my, you know, I got my dose of of Bob or whoever the name of the person is. I'm good," and then they never come back. Whereas the reason that Thrive is working is it's around having a four purpose business to go out there and change the world of consumerism forever. Thrive in its physical form today is a three day business conference, but it's just a platform right now of incubating entrepreneurs to teach them this four purpose business model to go out there and change the world forever. And people buy into that. It's not about Cole. It's not about my wife, Sonia. It's not about you know even the word thrive. It's about uh, coming to an event where you are taught and surrounded by a network of other entrepreneurs who are building businesses that are impacting the world and uh, across every vertical service, product, and industry, creating an option for consumers out there to go and buy a pair of Nikes, which I just went jogging. I was wearing Nikes, no offense to Nike, but they can go buy a pair of Nikes where now Nike is making money and their shareholders are happy. Or you can go and buy a pair of Toms, which I mentioned earlier, and now some child in a third world country is getting a pair of shoes because you did so. Consumers are naturally going to gravitate towards wanting to do business with, with companies that make an impact. And so that's the vision behind Thrive, and that's why we double in size every single year because it's not that Cole's cool. It's not that my wife's cool, which she is. It's that regardless of us, what people are learning is bigger and so they keep coming back so that's what i love about that man yeah it, it, it's like in the beginning like when you when you are creating your business you're creating your your brand your um your your business whether it's a product base service base both information products coaching consultant whatever it is right you, you need to create it around a movement that people can get behind like my vision for my brain and my business is to completely level the playing field for underdog entrepreneurs so that we all can quickly ramp up our business to six and seven figures. That's a movement that people want to get behind. Like underdog entrepreneurs that are currently stuck in the three, four to five figure range that are trying to get to the six figure, they feel that like, yeah, you know, we're underdogs. We got people telling us that it won't happen. We got all the odds stacked against us and we're ready to rise up and prove them wrong, right? But not only just prove them wrong, but do it to prove ourselves right more, more than anything else because we know that we have that in us to be all that and more. We got uh, un undeniable potential, right? 
So that's like crafting that message that people can get excited about and want to be a part of rather than if I came here, hey, welcome back. This is Zachary Babcock channel and I'm just here to tell you how to do things, blah, 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 blah. No, it's a movement. It's a community that we have together. So that's what I, I really love about that message. If you can dial it in on your ideal audience, figure out their core needs, problems, desires, uh, core values, world views, and be able to craft compelling offers around that, but you have that message in place, your mission, you know, then you can really create a movement. And speaking of movements, be sure to check out our Facebook group on Facebook. It's in the description below called Underdog Empowerment Movement. That's where we all come together, bounce ideas off each other, figure out ways how to win, form strategic connections, and I can't wait to get to know you on a more personal level. And if you dig this video, be sure to check out this playlist right here if you're trying to ramp your business up to six and seven figures and if you want to check out this full interview with me and cole hatter founder of thrive freaking boss dog right uh you can check it out in the description below there's a link to my podcast called underdog empowerment there's a link for itunes for your iphone users and there's a link for google play for your android users or you can check it out on the website as well at underdogempowerment.com until next time man let's keep leveling this playing field and win as underdog entrepreneurs and i will see you on the next video we put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. Oh, and it's that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.